So students, in this particular video, we are covering reaction D, the fourth reaction, <clears throat> which is the combustion of sucrose. Sucrose being C12H22O11, uh, which is basically, it's a disaccharide of uh, sucra or fructose and glucose combined with an alpha beta, uh, it's okay, <laughs> an alpha beta uh, bond. But for the most part, what we're worried about is, does it burn? Does it combust? Well, if you look at sucrose, it is a fuel source. It's a hydrocarbon that has oxygen. And the carbon will combine with oxygen to produce CO2. And the hydrogens in the fuel source will combine with the oxygen uh, to produce water. And obviously, in this particular case, it's not just a hydrocarbon. Sucrose also has the oxygen. And that, again, is see seen in the products of both CO2 and water. We also know that combustion reactions require oxygen to support them as one of the reactants. So in this particular video, we have our alcohol burner that we added the alcohol and I'm going to go ahead and light the wick and you can take any spoon around your house and I just actually saved the sugar that was provided by me you can use the sugar on your uh, little tiny tablespoon from your house and you're going to go ahead and burn that and see what happens. So I'm going to just put this over my alcohol burner and see if anything happens. So this may take a little bit of time because the bonds uh, might require a little bit of energy. Now some of you may be used to cooking and you might know that you can caramelize uh, certain fruits and vegetables when you cook them. It might be hard for you to see, but the sucrose, there, that's a little bit better. Let's see, it's starting to caramelize. Mm -hmm. Really cool thing is if you ever boil Coke, you'll be left with sugar basically, but you can see it's really smoking. That's evidence of a reaction. It's turning really dark brown. I'm going to move it away from the flame just because I don't want to set off my alarm smoke detector, but I could see the sugar there. So as it slowly kind of cools down, you can set it back and it will eventually completely combust. So we see here that in this room, there's plenty of oxygen. So the limiting reactant is the sucrose and it's caramelizing so that black gunk is basically carbon okay so you can just keep burning it until it all completely combusts away or if at this point you were satisfied with your results you could stop and clean the spoon and record your observations but uh, what i'm trying to show you is if i continue doing this eventually it'll be gone so we saw it first kind of melt and now it's caramelizing and becoming kind of this carbon residue. I won't bore you. You guys have the opportunity to do this on your own. So I will stop the video here. Thanks for watching.